Hello and welcome back dear friends at Lit E-City YouTube channel, the one-stop destination for the preparation of anti-NAT English literature. Dear friends, in our latest series, we are going to discuss some very important influential post-colonial writers like Gloria Anzaldua, Chinua Achibi, Anna Bradburg, Annie Cesare, Peter Carey, Sitsi Dangaramba, Antonio Benitz uh, Yogo, and all other writers which are very very important questions frequently come from these writers and their works so in this series we are going to discuss these writers in brief and their important works so we will start with gloria anzal dua who is a queer chicana poet means uh, the native of uh, mexican cities and other south american states she is a writer feminist theorist and extensively wrote about feminists, lesbian and gay people and also she has penned the history of Chicano literature which was mostly ignored or put on the margin by the canon. In fact, her book Borderlands, La Frontera, The New Mestiza and her essay La Prita are considered groundbreaking works in cultural feminist and queer theories. Remember this, this important book by her, Borderlands La Frontera. We should also remember with Sherry Moraga, Anzaldua co-edited This Bridge Called My Back, Writings by Radical Women of Color. It is one of an influential collection of Chicana lesbian and feminist writings. So these two works are very important from that point of view. The next writer is one of the most recognized name in post-colonial discourse and post-colonial theory and literature. We are talking about Chinua Achibi who was born in Igbo land, Nigeria. His first novel, Things Fall Apart, was published in 1958. Remember the, both the year and the name of the book. It is now, actually it is part of so many curriculums that it has become a must read for all the students of literature. It depicted life in an Igbo village at a period of transition and the arrival of British missionaries. Uh, you must know that the title Things Fall Apart, it comes from the poem The Second Coming by W.B. Yeats. Uh, name of the protagonist of this novel is Okonkwo and the setting or the name of the village where the things happen is Umofia which is an Igbo village. There are two sequels to this novel, No, no Longer at Ease and Arrow of God. And apart from these novels, Chinu Achibi has also written other novels, but these three consist of his African trilogy. He has also contributed in the debate, post-colonial debate, and his critical essay, An Image of Africa, Racism in Conrad's Heart of Darkness, condemns Conrad's novel Heart of Darkness which depicts Africa as a dark continent as something which cannot be easily understood. His other novels include A Man of the People and Ant Hills of the Savannah. So these are some important work by Chinua Achibi. The next writer we are going to discuss is Anna Bradburn. Dear friends, she was born and raised in Jamaica. Uh, so Caribbean writer, she published a number of studies of Jamaican society dealing with the culture and circumstances of working class communities with particular focus on women and children. Her novel Jane and Louisa will soon come home and Mia, they are heavily inspired by Jamaican folklore, ritual, myth and linguistic vernaculars. In fact, in these novels, she has used a typical, uh, we can say, pidgin language, the language is spoken by these Caribbean communities. And she has also uh, shown the effect, the impact of colonization on these Caribbean uh, colonies. Next, very important and influ influential writer is Amy Césaire. She, he was born in Martin. And he studied in Paris where he met 
Leopold Seda Sanger, a student from Senegal. Both become close friends and they were pivotal in formulation of the concept of negritude. Now what is negritude? Negritude is an artistic and political project that promoted the virtues of a shared black identity. So they want to create a community in which different pe uh, black people from different countries, they can come together and share their experiences. Now with Leon Demas, they created the journal La Atudian Noe or which is in English, The Black Student. His greatest literary work is the long poem Notebook of a Return to My Native Land, published in 1939, which explored the suffering of black peoples in Martinique, Martinique and Africa. Uh, apart from these uh, concept of negritude, he has also written other poems which bring to the front uh, the problems, the trauma of being a black, a minor in a majority white race society. Uh, this is uh, this particular poetry book, Notebook of a Return to the Native Land. He also wrote an anti-colonial polemic, Discourse on colonial, colonial, uh, Colonialism in 1955 and he also adapted Shakespearean play The Tempest titling it Une Tempte. So these are his contribution to the post-colonial literature and debate in which he has basically called all black people to come together and share their common experiences. The next writer we are going to discuss is Antonio Benitez Rioso, who was born in Panama and raised in Cuba. He was a very close aide. Uh, earlier, he was basically part of the European or the American culture. But uh, with the Cuba being the communist country, he became a close ally of Fidel Castro. And he established himself as a writer with his prize winning collection of short stories, Tude de Reis or King's Flush published in 1967. He has also penned a trilogy of books in three different genres. This is something unique. One is a novel, Alma de la Lentezas or The Sea of Lentils. Then collection of critical essays, La Isla Cuise Repeat, The Repeating Island. The Caribbean and the Postmodern Perspective, one of his most talked about book, one of very important polemical book of post-colonial discourse. And the third one is a book of short stories, A View from the Mangrove. The very important writer, the very popular one, winner of Booker Prize twice, we are talking about Peter Carey, one of the Australia's most significant writers. His early novels like Illy Wacker and Oscar and Lucinda, they deal with Australian history. For example, the narrator of Illy Wacker. Now, Illy Wacker is a typical Australian term for a lovable rogue, a person who basically uh, tries to dupe, uh, especially the Westerners, that is Illy uh, Wacker. And the narrator is Herbert Badgery a 13, 139 year old charlatan. Then if we talk about Oscar and Lucinda, which is winner of Booker Prize and it is the story of meeting of two completely different people, an Englishman Oscar Hopkins and an Australian heiress Lucinda Lepastri. Jack Max, this is a rewriting of Magwitch, character of Magwitch who was the Australian convict figure from Charles Dickens novel, Great Expectation. It is a rewriting from post-colonial point of view. Then there is one character which is very important information from, uh, from that point of view, Tobias Oates. This is a character in this novel who stands for Dickens himself. True history of Kelly Gang. Once again, he Peter Kelly won Booker Prize for this novel. It is an imaginative telling of the life of the outlaw Ned Kelly and told in a series of fictional letters. My life as a fake. It explores the hoax surrounding 1940 Australian poet 
Earn Malley, who was in fact the fictional fabrication of two Sydney-based writers. So all these works, Peter Carey always tried to bring some historical point of view and dealing it in a very uh, different perspective. The next writer we are going to discuss is Sitsi Dangarmba and she was born in Mutoko, Rhodesia, which is now called Zimbabwe. She received international acclaim with her novel Nervous Condition. It was the first novel in English by a black Zimbabwean women and Nervous Condition. The title is from Jean-Paul Sartre's introduction to Franz Fanon's The Wretched of the Earth and it tells the struggle of a young girl Tambu Zai or Tambu Sigowake to attain education and independence in the late colonial Rhodesia or Zimbabwe. In 2006, Dangarumba published a sequel, The Book of Not, which follows Tambu's young life amid the Zimbabwean conflicts of 1970s. This is a very important novel. I must uh, add here that Sitsi Dangarumba is also a film director. She has produced film once again focusing on the plight of black Zimbabwean people. Next writer is Patrick Shamazui, born in Martin. She, he is a key figure in the Creolite movement. Now Creolite movement as the name indicates is a movement which highlights, which try to promote the Creole language of the Caribbean islands along with Jean Barnett and Raphael Confian. He co-authored essay Ela de la Creolite. It critically discusses the linguistic transformation of language in everyday Martinque. He came to international recognition with his novel Texaco that draws on local folk tales in telling the magical history of a small shanty town. Shanty town is a town situated quite near to the sea coast. The next writer we are going to discuss is Mary Sconde. She is a Guadalupean author of epic historical fiction, much of which is based in Africa. Conde's novel explores issues of slavery, history, race, colonialism, cultural identity and difference. Harem Honon is a story of young Caribbean women who becomes involved with a corrupt African politician. She also wrote Sigo, which is a two-part innovative historical novel, explore the history of Sigo region, uh, which is basically, we can say, her uh, place where she was born and brought up. La Migration de Coeur, Windward Height, as the title gives you a hint, is a rewriting of Emily Bronte's novel Wuthering Heights and set chiefly in Guadeloupe, her place of birth. Roberto Fernandez Retama is one of Cuba's leading intellectual figures and a distinguished poet, activist, critic and cultural worker. His 1971 essay Caliban notes towards a discussion of culture in our America is a kind of manifesto for Latin America and Caribbean writer. This essay is also important, a very important document in post-colonial discourse. Okay friends, with this we come to the end of this short video which was basically made to introduce to you some of very important post-colonial writers. Very soon we will bring another installment in which we will discuss some more similar writers. Thank you friends.